Hey guys, back with more Crooked Man, and today we're, uh, downfall we just had with, uh, David and stuff like that. So, let's continue on, shall we? Uh, save. And, yeah, we're done. We're done. Damn it. David has, hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to and where? Paul? What do we do? I know we shouldn't have left David alone. Ah, I have to say her name again. Murian! Get a hold of yourself. Calm down. How can I be calm about this? David's still worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering old, over old wounds. I was so... Always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get him his mind clear, but that didn't help. Now did it? It wasn't a bad idea. But it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it. I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room... Paul? Ugh, don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about how you see things and... See things? Explanation point. David? David, where are you? Dot, dot, dot. Central Hospital. What? Well, why are you all the way over there? Listen, I'm going over there. So wait for me. Don't do any... Don't... Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come. Please, don't. Leave me alone. David? Hey, David! Damn it. It took about a day to get to that place on my motorcycle. Ooh, you got a motorcycle. I'm going to see David. I'm going with you. David is my friend, too. I just can't ignore him at a time like this. Alright, let's go. You're not going to say no? Alright. That's the first. Vroom, vroom! Oh, it's so cool. Motorcycle. Nice. Oh, that's not a more. Oh, okay, that is David's car. David's car. He gotta be still here. Come on, Marine. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. She can handle herself. Oh, you're not like fluffy. Okay. Say right here. Say 17. It's been a while since I played this game. Uh, I think. Oh, scary. Were those footsteps? That you, David? Well, we all know he's upstairs. Well, let's just check. Busted. Well, everything else is busted, so let's check here. Uh. Nope. I already know where he is, but do we really have to go around? There's blood. Maybe he'll have a reaction. Wait, wasn't there something here? Okay, so he's not going to sing. Oh! No. No? Okay. That one's dirty. Uh, I think that was the only room. Uh, I'll check the the main ones that we already know. Uh, nothing here. Nope. Right here. Oh, who's there? What are you trying- what are you doing here- there? Oh, hey. Hey! Uh, a girl? Hey, what are you doing in this place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? What? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, what the heck are you doing? What's this all about? Go see him. Go see him. I don't even know. Man, what the hell was that? Did you saw that? Did you saw that? Hold on, let me check. 
Yeah, okay. Ew, throw up. Oh, of course. Well, we checked upstairs. Um, timeline is not good. Dun dun dun! No. Let's not check there. Okay, let's check downstairs. I need to check downstairs. We all know he's there. Footsteps might have been Fluffy. Where is Fluffy? Is he still here? Explanation point. Someone else. David? Hey, who, who are you? D. Lil D. Yo. The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on, save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. Paul, what's this about? Uh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. Isn't she going to say something about this? Okay, we gotta check here. I'll say right here. Just in case. Oh wait, this is the wrong room. Maybe downstairs. Let's check downstairs. Right here. He's not here! David! Okay, if you're sad, what would you do? You'd be on the rooftop. Because you can look at the stars and it's all pretty and stuff. And it clears your mind. So let's go upstairs. Oh, David. Oh, oh, oh. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. Fluffy, is that you? Oh my god, what are you guys doing here? A kid? Don't tell me there's a kid wandering here. Fluffy! He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. K kid, what are you doing? And they all live together in a crooked, little crooked house. Oh, I messed up the song. Hey, are you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Oh, why is my crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of not? So the crooked man would cry. He couldn't famish why. He was sad all the time, and he sighed. And so he... He what? David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey! What was with him? Why he know David? Why did he meet him? Forget about it. Let's go. Huh? What's up? See? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this is this isn't the time for that? Huh? Maria? What do you mean? Teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? Huh? Oh no. Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We need to find David. No jokes. Explanation point. So that's it, huh? Maria, let's go and leave the hospital. Oh wait, go leave the ho and leave the hospital. Sorry for uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. W wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened, I'd be putting us both in danger. Just please, trust me. All right, please come back quickly. All right. Just wait for me, David. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember. Uh, I don't like this. Don't like this one bit. David! What are you doing out there? Is he there? Open door. This is it, guys. The moment of truth. Maybe. 
Ooh, I don't like those eyes. David. Paul? Why? Why are you here? Came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave. Stay away. Oh, God. No. David, you... I'm... I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm... I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. Oh, shoot. David, wh what's that? Agony. Living in agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here. Right now. David! Persuade. What? Nah, nah. This is just like the mermaid swamp. We're gonna punch him. Hiya! What? <laughs> Ow! You damn monster! Get away from David! Hey! Ow! Stop! Stop! Ow! Oh, okay, maybe this wasn't a good idea. Hiya! That hurts! Stop, you moron! Hey, you're back to normal. David! You back with us. Hey, that actually worked. Yeah, always hit somebody. That gets them... Yeah, that always brings them back. Don't say stuff like that. I went... Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been saying from the start. Like hell. If that's the kind of thing you do and say, I have to beat you up until you promise not to. Dot dot dot. Now, about the stuff you've been doing. You better tell me everything that happened. Oh, okay. Big talk. Oh, look, they're smoking. Hmm. Sissy, D, and Fluffy? And that crooked monster? Oh, so you believe in that monster? That's my occult fantic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fantasm is it, something. Well, don't... I always tell you that I see it. You and Maureen never believe me. Sheesh. Anyway, about Sissy D and the kiddo. I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe, but Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousness, they sort of stick around in places. More of your altic stick? You're seriously making fun of the altic after this? Just listen, and no jokes. So you've had it pretty similar to the guy who lived in, in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked up the place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had this strange feeling. From you, and from the room. I have to guess, the guy's consciousness and you were a perfect match. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy too. So you're saying, he's calling me? Yep. And you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core and always symbolize with others. And, no one, and they get taken advantage of most. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know him? You know a little from the stuff that he left. Plus that he was... You could... He was... That was all the stuff you can identify with. So what would you think of the guy who's the spinning image of you? Would you hate him or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you. Tried to drag you with him. But the other, on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you? Who wanted your help? What? A 
explanation point. He hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share it in suffering with you. So he was asking, seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He, he helped in me. Got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Huh? What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address. And I don't think it's that far. I'm going. I have to meet him. He could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So I'm going. David. You come back to us safe. I... I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Yeah. I know. Thanks. Scene 4. Central Hospital. Hall. End. Alright, now. Oh, the music stopped already. So, should we continue on? We still got, like, a few more minutes to go. Yeah, let's do this. And we're back with David. Oh my god. I think we're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done. This is the place, for sure. Could this be his house? Oh god, no. Who is that dude? Hey, hey. Excuse me, can I have a sec? What? Ain't you- Ain't seen you around going for a stroll? Er, no actually. Um, who lives here? Do you know them? Oh. You mean Miss- Miss McGall? Mc- Mc- Mac- Gat- something? Someone named? M McGall lives here? Not anymore. Miss Gall passed away last year. This house has been like ne ne neglected ever since. Waste of a fine house it is. Oh yeah, I think she has. Oh she, she has a son. Wish he'd just rent out or sell the house. Do you know anything about her son? Nah, never see him. I only moved here a few years back. Heard he lives in an apartment a ways away. I see. Val, I gotta get home by daybreak or my wife will be livid. Oh yeah, thanks a lot. Bye, bye, bye. I'm not letting you leave. That's so cool. Oh, dang it. He disappeared. Um, let's check around. Nothing's growing the planter. Um, this looks like it's it. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, I think we'll stop here for a little bit because I think we're at the final point. So, I like this. This is getting interesting. The downfall is over and we're back to the rise. We're about to go into the climax. Okay. If you like this video, please share with your friends, like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah.